Thanks for joining us today at our Digital Test, Test Drive Expo at the library. Uh, we are talking about all of the different services that we have that you can access for free with your library card. You might have stopped by at the table, other tables we had. We had our downloading table where you can download free audiobooks, ebooks, movies, magazines, and music. Uh, we also have another table that Susanna was working at, uh, talking about the library app that you can download. It's a free app, download it on your smartphone. We have um, the Launchpad and Brain HQ and a couple other resources that you can access for the, for the library. And again, all for free with your library card. What I'm going to talk about right now are the databases that we have at the library. Um, databases are a great way to uh, learn a, a whole slew of information. I'll show you. Okay, we can start with our at the PalisHeightsLibrary.org website, and you're going to click on our services and go right to on, online databases. Just click on that. We have databases that deal with travel. If you go to A to Z World Travel, um, a lot of you, if you try to do an internet search, it's pretty difficult trying to get accurate information. When you go to a database, it's the difference between that and an internet search is that everything you find on here is verifiable information. You can click on any of the countries that you see here and learn about when you're going to go with well, the clothing, if you're going to go shopping, the clothing size guides, the electricity, what kind of outlets you need to bring, the health and safety you know, of the area, currency, um, the world time zones, and, world, and information for women travelers, all in the one, the one database. We also have ancestry.ancestrylibrary.org. Ancestry, this is the only resource that you're going to need to use in the library. The rest of these you can access from your home with your Palos Heights Library card. Ancestry Library is a great resource for people to come when you're researching your family history. We have the four sets of um, records that are essential to looking for genealogical information. You have your, the census records, the vitals records, military records, and immigration. Um, enter your information and you begin your journey on into your family history. Uh, we also have staff members here that are trained in genealogy research and you can take classes from there. If you check our, our website, the PalosHeightsLibrary.org, go to our, the calendar and you can check to see if we have those coming up each month. I believe we have them coming up in May, so keep uh, uh, posted on that. We also have other databases that you can get to. Uh, we have novelists for all you big consumer reports. I'm gonna, before I get to novelists, consumer reports, you can access that from your house. Um, Novelist, for all you readers, heavy readers out there, come on, it's not listening to me, hang on. There we go. Novelist is a great reading resource for um, when you're looking for the next book to read. Or if you're talking to somebody like, oh, I love this book, oh, I can't remember the author, but the, the, the character was, her, her name was Maisie something. You can look up the, uh, by author, title, or a series, and um, you can just type in the name. And there it is, Maisie Dobbs Novels. And it, it even gives you the, um, the order in which they've been published, too. So if you're like, oh, I've read this one, if, which is this the next one? And like, so it gives you the list of the series. It gives you read-alikes. If you like this book and you want to try something else in that, that genre, it gives you some great, great recommendations. And you can even just... It'll look up a book and say, hey, is this one offered in our library? And you just click on the catalog and it brings it up right there. And if it's not list, if it's not on the shelf, you can place a hold on it just like that. So that's a, Novelist uh, is a great resource um, for all you serious readers out there. Even Mango Languages, that's another one of ours. I love this one. For those of you interested in learning languages for work or just for fun, Mango Languages has over 70 different languages you can learn from. Um, you can, um, in many different ways, there's even Little Pim for, for children, and you can learn by videos, you can learn by lessons where they re, they re, you recite the, the phrase in a foreign language and it plays it back for you like a, like a native speaker should, see, should speak it. So you're getting some really good information on that as well. Um, one of my other favorites is Universal Class. This is a site that you can take, um, let's see, am I not logged in here? You can take this class, uh, a whole slew of classes on, on universal class, whether you're looking for job training, 
I'm sorry, Jesse, <laughs> you're locking information on there. Um, there's a whole catalog of courses here you can look at. Um, so whether it's accounting or arts and crafts or career training, business, finance, general education, mathematics, homeschooling, history, language arts, pet care, wedding planning, gardening, yoga, health and, and um, sciences, a whole slew of them. And if you just pick one of them, um, I'm going to go to, let's do arts and crafts. And you can learn anything from cake decorating to advanced dog training to Adobe Photoshop or digital photo, um, digital cameras, aromatherapy, and you can just click on the, les the lesson. This one's about dog grooming, and it brings up how many lessons you will have, how many assignments, how many hours you will take to take the class, and the CEUs, because there are con uh, classes that people need to take for maybe job training or placement. We have uh, medical uh, coding. There's uh, Excel, computer classes. There's uh, Windows 10, other classes like that. Um, but if you click on the course, it gives you the description of the course and will um, give you the lessons that are involved. And uh, so you have a whole slew of things to learn from. Again, all of these are free. I was just showing a bunch of people today and they're like, this is all free at the library? I'm like, yes. So um, go to your library's website, uh, look up the databases and see what else you can learn. The library is, we do check out books. We do work with movies and great programming, but we have a whole slew of other things for people to, to take advantage of. And if you have any questions, make sure to give us a call. We're happy to sit down with you and, re and talk about anything else. Thanks.